What up? Yo, we're in France today, Bordeaux, home. Today we're gonna finish Nico's sleeve. I started it about, um, what? Six, six years, years ago. Six years ago, I've been tattooing for eight years now. I started this uh, six years ago with this I piece. Think this one oh, was yeah, like this? maybe seven years ago, oh, I don't seven know. Seven years ago. A moment when you realize that you made someone really happy. I think I was tattooing so. for a year when I did this one. We've been uh, adding to that sleeve a little bit here and there, you know, in between like work. So right now we're gonna finally finish it. It's uh, kind of turning a page for me as far as uh, completing his project. Usually I knock out sleeves quite fast, you know, because people come from out of country and want to get as much work as possible. But this one, you can see different stages, different period of life. So I have different approaches on each piece, you know, and I try to bring it together so it looks cohesive. It looks like one whole piece, but uh, today we're gonna finish it and we're gonna move on to the other side of his body. We already have his back piece done and uh, we're gonna do a full body suit, but it's gonna be something very different that I'm not gonna talk about yet, but you guys will see in the future. <laughs> gonna look for design usually the way I do it with people unless they have a design that they really want but usually the way it goes is like they come in and we go through pictures together so uh, we just set up this day to get the tattoo done but we have no clue of what we're gonna do <clears throat> so I'm just gonna go through references with Nico and we're gonna print it and see what works let's do it <laughs> debating between a statue and a skull everything is very soft in this sleeve like female faces so right now i'm trying to go with something that's a little more dark or just a little more rough to kind of balance it out and a shot of water to balance it out next you're gonna add the cooking oil get that get that get that but wait you can't forget a shot of water to balance it out it took us so far about maybe five minutes. I mean, there is days where it takes a little long to find the right design, but some days, you know, you just see some images and you're like, yo, this will work. For this particular arm, like it was everything very fast. So it keeps it like a little more spontaneous. And... So we're sitting up. Right now I'm tattooing with Nico at the studio. And uh, today we're gonna use coil. I always uh, like to go back and forth with tattoo machines, you know. I learned using coil. I started using uh, rotaries and now recently I restart using coils. They're just very heavy, you know, and the vibration. But I don't know, it's something with me, like I feel like when I use coil, I feel more like a craftsman. I don't know, I feel there's so much charm to it. So I've been feeling the coils lately. But you can use pretty much whatever works for you. We made a video about this where I built a homemade tattoo machine from the junkyard. Listen to me, listen to me, listen to me, look at You might wonder why would I do such a thing, you know, why would I use this and stuff. Well, like this idea came to me, you know, first of all, because, because I want to be creative and I enjoy like doing like fun stuff, you know, that just like push me out of my comfort zone. And that's the way I like to experiment art, you know? And I thought this is the true essence of tattooing, so I wanted to like have, try it out, you know? And the second piece of it, I just wanted to make a point with all the people asking me, what size needle do you use? What is this? What is that? Like to show you that it doesn't really matter. You can make it happen with anything at any time. It's all up to you, you know? So I'm gonna do this whole tattoo with this and we're gonna see how it comes out. So we're just gonna sit up get some food and uh, get started.
Yo, we are here working hard, almost done with that sleeve. Seven years in the making. You know, I always try to make time for my bro and we try to tattoo him. We worked on the back, everything. We kind of left the sleeve on the side for a while, but today we finish it up. And uh, I think it really represents, you know, like all these different stages in our life. Started in the States, finished it at home. Just work hard, practice. That's what it represents for me. All the years of practice, working hard, you know. And uh, just believe in your dreams, grind hard, don't quit, stay positive, and do some epic stuff in your life. Talk to me.